Right, part of our afternoon discussion today, of course, it's business. We'll be talking of matters integration and regional integration at that. And joining me in studio is Dan Kazungu, who is a member of parliament for Malindi, but also a member of the Committee on Regional Integration. It is a new committee, has a lot of new mandate to it. But Dan, uh, karibu sana to Thank you, thank you, thank you, Tanya. Dan, um, in, uh, in a nutshell, what is the progress of this whole integration process from where it started to where we are now? We, we, we have come a long way right. and uh, we, we need to thank our, our founding fathers. We had the East African community uh, in the 70s and we had hiccups uh, around 77 and right. it collapsed. But um, through uh, the vision of uh, our, our current leaders uh, and immediate past leaders, uh, these community was you know re-established right. in 1999 and uh, we, we've, we've come a long way we, right. we started off with a, a custom union we moved on to a common market protocol now we're moving on to to a monetary union soon right. and hopefully political federation yeah. by 2015 Dan, talking, so, of, talking of a monetary yes. union yes. Dan, yes. Um, we understand there's, there's been a lot of hiccups and delays especially coming from our Tanzania neighbors yes. from where you sit what is the biggest hurdle to a unified monetary union see Look, uh, our states are obviously evolving. There's a historical perspective. There's ideological issues to it as well. You know, uh, uh, in the way Kenya has evolved is so different from the way Uganda has evolved, right. and different from the way Rwanda has evolved, for right. example. Mm -hmm. And so is Tanzania. Remember, Tanzania started off uh, with Ujama, and and uh, they are moving on to. Well, if you look at it, it's a purely capitalist economy, but right. they still held up by the, the history that uh, uh so it is some of those exactly hang -ups some of those hang -ups. and then there are also other issues uh, you know tanzania as much as the part of east african community they are also part of the sadic right so 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 and and so sometimes so this exactly yeah, exactly so you have those issues right uh, but uh, i i i still believe i uh, you know i've worked in tanzania so many years they identify themselves as East Africans and uh, I think we it's, it's it's about giving the other person or that state that space to grow and and, and join this this uh, common vision Dan we have yeah. the committee on regional integration yes. in Kenya and yes. there's a similar community in Uganda yes we also have the East African um, uh, legislative assembly that exactly. is, sits in, in Tanzania yes how do you bring all these bodies together to ensure that we stick to timelines thank thank you to you first of all uh, I really thank the, the Kenya National Assembly uh, because for the first time in right. this 11th parliament we have a parliamentary select committee on regional integration right. it has never existed right and so we're the pioneers and uh, you also have the same situation in uganda where you, you we, in fact they're the first uh, country to have uh, a select committee on regional integration a and it's, it's because we have this sh shared vision that we want to be one country as it were one day uh, as a political union and uh, look Tunya, we do have an east african legislative assembly in Tanzania, it makes laws. It is a rougher laws. Uh, they're making laws today, and these laws, by the way, they affect all these uh, member states. And it's important for us to have those synergies, to work together, to liaise together, so that first of all, I want my Kenyans to know what right. what what laws are passed and how they affect them. And, and and I know it's hard enough in the cities, the urban centers, but think about all those people who are are in the rural areas who have no idea. I'll give you an example: our tax laws right. today. Uh, if you bid for a project in Rwanda, you don't pay VAT, you, or you don't charge VAT for a project. For right. example, you 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 bidding for a construction project, you will never pay VAT as a Kenyan farm. But a Tanzania will be uh, will have to pay VAT. That way, a Tanzania will never win a project there. Right. You so, so those kind of things we need to harmonize. We need to work together so that East Africa goes together. And, right. and yeah. Dan, um, we are running out of time. Uh, what is the biggest hurdle in your view, and how do we tackle that? Look, I, I think first of all we 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 are on the right track. Uh, I think there's a there's a there's a realization that as independent states we can't move far. Uh, as one united block, we have over 120 million people. That's a big block. Uh, we can do trade. We have a shared history, but obviously uh, we ha also have to you know uh, as we you know come with all these raft of laws, we need to carry everybody along because you need to know what what affects you. Right. The people out there need to know what affects them. Uh, but also, uh, the way I see it is that uh, the way at some point we need to, to 
reform the secretariat to us to me a full-fledged commission that drives uh, uh, the agenda for east africa because right. if we're going to be having one president for example then we are talking of uh, a union or a federation that is more concrete than just being run by secretary so there'll be all those issues but i'm sure going forward uh, we should be able to, to yes and no answer are you for the political union uh, being pushed by uganda I would want to say pushed by Uganda. I, I think all East Africans should push that because I think it to cement our our our. Bearing uh, in mind exactly. what is happening so, in the AU. So, the so, so yes, I, I support of a political federation. Uh, I don't want to be rushed, but I think it would be good to have one United East Africa in my view because hey. Look at my name, for example. You have a Kazungu in Kenya, right. Kazungu in Rwanda, Kazungu in Uganda, Kazungu in Tanzania. Uh, I am both East Kazungu exactly. nation. There you have right. it. Thank, Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right. Yeah. That's the progress report from the ESN. Of course, this conversation cannot end. We'll carry it forward on our online platform.